Now the masked magician will try to cheat death once more as he faces the razor-sharp blade of the guillotine. That's one way to make coleslaw. The magician enters dressed in the traditional condemned man's robes. The ladies bid their fond farewells and... Up he goes. Nice knowing you, masked man. His assistants strap him to a bodyboard to keep him from running away. No chance of that. He's scared stiff. His head is then locked in the metal restraint and his body is lowered into position beneath the blade. I assure you, this is a real guillotine. No shortcuts here. Next, his head is secured with the wooden stocks. He's not going anywhere. One last check on the restraints. Comes the executioner. He's got his work cut out for him. I can't bear to watch. Is it over? Of course not. Not when the executioner is the mass magician. So how does he do it? Here's the secret. As the illusion begins, the magician makes his dramatic entrance, cloaked in the condemned man's robe. The costume should have been your first clue that something was up. Beneath the hood is a duplicate mask that covers the magician's everyday mask. And a head-shaped shell, which takes the place of his real head. Without the robe, you can see that the magician is also wearing a form-fitting body cast. While it looks like the assistants are helping him get into position, they're really grabbing the shoulders of the fake body and separating it from the magician. Now watch the move without the robe in place. That's one way to skin a magician. Even though the magician is no longer inside the robe, the fake body holds his shape. The assistants strap it in place to keep the form and head in an upright position. But where does the magician go? Hidden in the platform is a spring-loaded trap door that allows him to escape. He's got plenty of room to drop down, turn, and continue down a slide that's built into the staircase. This cutaway view shows his movement through the stairs dead man sliding. At the bottom of the staircase, he slips out unnoticed. As the fake body is lowered into position, the magician puts on the executioner's robe and heads back up to the platform. The stage is set. The deadly blade severs the fake head, and the masked magician lives on. Pretty sharp, huh?